Okay, so we have 8 plus 10. 8 plus 10 is how much? Not a problem. So we get 3 minus 2. Listen, when you do the bracket, you do the 8 plus 10, you got a couple ways you can write this. You can either write it as times 18 or you keep it in parentheses. It really doesn't matter. With negatives, yeah, we keep it in parentheses because we don't want to confuse a negative sign for a minus. But here, I'll just choose to write times 18 because, hey, it's multiplied. I'm going to put times 18. Hey, what's the next thing that we do? Multiply. Just a quick question. Just a quick question. Are we supposed to subtract here? No. You know what? A lot of people, when they first get this problem, because it's right off the bat, and you go, oh, 3 minus 2, that's 1. That makes it a lot easier. Can we do that? No, it won't be the same. No, it's not, because this right here means multiply. That would be breaking our order of operations. You really need to follow this down. So we do our order of operations correctly. We're not subtracting now. We're actually multiplying. 3 minus how much? 36. Good. And then minus 12. Just step by step, step by step, follow what I'm showing you guys. Hey, what's the next thing I do? 3 minus 36. So 3 minus 36, how do we change a minus sign into what? Is it, is it just a plus or is it a plus negative? That's the one that's a plus negative. One sign changes to two signs. Also, you know what, let me change this one as well. We're going to change that to a plus negative. So plus negative, plus negative. Can there be a minus or what? Well, if you have the minus, the addition rule doesn't work with that. And so what we've done in this class is we're changing all the minuses into plus negatives or into a minus negative into a plus. That way we can use the addition rule and makes it so that we use what we learned already, not learn set of rules. Can I ask you a question? Of course. All right. I'm confused right here because when you get negative 4 and then there's a negative 1, you made it negative 5. Yeah. But yet when it was the 8 minus negative 10, why did you make it negative 18? Minus a negative changes to a plus. Minus a negative changes to a plus. That's why. Well, because you're subtracting a negative number, you're taking away a debt. If I came to you, and we covered this before, but if I came to you and said, hey, you owe $10, I'm going to pay that for you. It's like I gave you 10 bucks, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm taking away something that you owe. I'm adding money. That's what, what's happening here. And so the way we show that is whenever you have a minus and negative, those two signs become a plus sign, become a positive. Or, I'm sorry, a plus. So whenever you see the minus negative, you change it to a plus, and that lets you use addition rules. That's the whole idea. That's why they're different. One happened to be a minus. One happened to be a minus negative. Okay, keep on going. We do the first two. 3 plus negative 36. How much is 3 plus negative 36? Three plus negative thirty-six. We subtract. We keep the sign of the bigger number. We're going to have negative thirty-three. And lastly, negative thirty-three plus negative twelve. We get the same signs there. What are we going to do? Keep them. Divide. Keep them and add or subtract. Subtract. Yeah. Add. Add. Mm -hmm. The other one. Yeah. Add. Forty-five. Negative forty-five. That's our answer. You start to see. You really have to know your stuff to do this. You really do, don't you? Yeah. you got to know those negatives backwards and forwards. It was easy when we were doing it without negatives. Shoot, that wasn't a problem. But are, are you really starting to see why I covered so heavily this stuff? This, from, just from here to here. This is, the, this is the stuff that messes people up. This is the stuff that messes people up. It's, it's never multiplication. Everyone got negative 10. No problem. It's adding and subtracting integers. That's the big deal. So when I was covering adding and subtracting, a lot of you are like, oh my gosh. That's why. Because when you get to here, I have to have you get it right. Otherwise, if you mess the step up, is your problem going to come out right? <laughs> You're done. You mess up on the first step and wasted five minutes of meaningless mathematics to get to the wrong answer. We can't have that happen. So the fundamentals are really what we need to get down. Okay, we're going to keep going on this. We're going to start building these problems up a little bit. We'll do a couple more together, then I'll give you those three to do on your own.
okay, we gotta know the stuff. First thing I do is subtract. True or false? False. 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 Why? Because it's not a new operation. Okay. Because it's of that. Good. So what we're gonna do on this problem is you're going to ignore everything else but the little part that you're working with. So we're gonna ignore all this stuff and then look right here. How much is the four divided by negative two? Negative, negative two. two. So we're gonna write the eight, we're gonna write the minus, and then we're gonna write the negative two. And what are we gonna put signifying that that's a negative right. there? Yep. Are you okay making it down that far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sure? Okay. Now, next we have 8 minus negative 2. We don't like seeing the minus and negative. That's something that we can't really work with. So we're, we're changing those minus signs into something. What does that change to? Yeah. So 8 plus 2 minus negative becomes a plus. We're going to get how much? Yeah. That's the right answer. Good, good deal. Are you starting to get it more and more? Are you, are you progressing in this stuff? I hope so. Yeah. You guys are awfully mellow today. It's just kind of laid back, Friday, you know. You ready for the weekend? Is that what it is? If negative two was a positive two, so like this? Yeah. If this was like. If it came off positive, would it just be eight minus? Like that, right? Yeah. Like that, you'd have eight minus two, you get six. You can. I mean, you can do that from here. You could do. You could do plus negative, couldn't you? Oh yeah. Different sign, subtract sign, the bigger number, it's still six. Okay. So those rules do work all the time, as long as you change, as long as you have a plus. That's why we're changing minuses to pluses to make sure that happens. Okay, let's do one more together. I'll give you three to do on your own. And we'll keep going. So like I said, we are going to do this together, but I want your help on the steps. So can you tell me, what's the first thing that you would do when you're faced with this problem? Before the exponents even. Eight minus three. Okay. So we're going to leave everything else alone. We'll do the eight minus three. That's not a bad one. We're just going to get negative three squared. We're not going to touch that. Minus two times, what is that? Five. Plus negative five. Remember that five, you can keep it in parentheses or not, that's up to you. If it was negative, we'd have to have that. So either this way or that way, it really doesn't matter. Okay, let's keep going on this thing. What's the next thing we're going to do? Exponent. Hey, let's look at the exponent together. On that exponent, is the negative going with the three or not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes. Yes. Because it's even number, so. It's all, look, folks, it's all about the parentheses. It's all in the parentheses, so it goes with the three. It's in the parentheses, so say that louder. It's in the parentheses, so it goes with the three. That's right. So if it's in the parentheses, it goes with that thing. This means negative three times negative three. How much is negative three times negative three? Positive nine. nine. Perfect. Okay, we're on a roll now. You, start, you guys are starting to really get this. What's the next thing we do? Okay, what is our multiplication going to give us? Which is? Oh, that's not a negative. Nine plus negative ten, very good. So we're going to change our signs. Minus becomes a plus negative. So we're going to have my, nine my, plus negative ten plus negative five. Hey everybody, how much is 9 plus negative 10? That wasn't everybody, but I'll take it. Whatever. Yeah, negative 1 from here. Last thing we're going to look at is negative 1 plus negative 5. Do we have the same signs or different signs here? Same sign. Add or subtract. And negative 6. Good deal. I'm going to give you three problems similar to this on the board. 
I want you to really work through them. Don't speed through them. There's no need for that. We got lots of time. Don't speed through them. Just work through them. Make sure we're following the steps down. Make sure you're changing those na those minus signs appropriately, doing the exponents correctly. That's what we really need to focus on in this class. Start on that one, I'll write two more over here. Depends on what comes first, left to right. So if division comes first, left to right, then you do that first. Let's take about another minute and then we gotta get going on this.